guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this episode has got me so tight, guys. I got too much to say about this episode, guys. I, ooh, I know this one is gonna be a long one, but guys, if I get into this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You already know, road to 30K. Alrighty, guys, let's now get into it. Okay, so Tiffany and the girls are speaking and they are encouraging her to talk to Ronnie and basically end up being friendship, like, like end up being friends with Ronnie. Now, I didn't know it got to that level where they were just where she was gonna pie him off fully. I thought she was just gonna tell him a little something, something, and maybe he can like have a second chance to like try harder. But she was like, uh, -uh I'm done with this rubbish. So I was like, ah, okay, Tiffany, ew. because I did not know this was gonna happen. But <laughs> Christmas comes early, guys, so you know. Sean and Matilda are having a conversation and they're talking about his rejected kiss and he's saying that he's going to chill and basically not move as fast, which I was like, great, great job because that's what we need. If you slow things down, things will be better, but you being thirsty, it's not, it's not even in the slightest attractive. So then the boys are playing this dumb game. I've never even heard of it. It's called Eggy Boff. Guys, <laughs> I'm not Cockney or whatever. I, I, I have no clue what this game is. So for some reason, Jeremy's like, oh, let's ignore Omar. I just thought the game was extremely childish. Like, it just, I, I don't want to say boys being boys. I don't want to put, put all boys down to being childish. So that's definitely not what I'm saying. But it's just like, that silly, like, I don't know. That's just that silly, childish, boyish fun. Even though it was, thankfully, Omar didn't take it into a deep way. So I'm not going to deep it as well. Even though Jeremy was the one I did it. But we're going to get to it. Um, I don't know why Kieran did it with Nicole. Um... That was dumb because you know this girl is very, very serious. She can't take a joke. She actually, like, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to say she can't take a joke fully, but the things that shouldn't really bother her, bother her. I'm sorry. I do not think it was a big enough deal for her to have walked away and been irritated. I just don't think it's a big, who, like, who are these idiots for you to be embarrassed in front of? Like, God forbid I, someone can ever embarrass me in front of a, ben, a bunch of nincompoops. Guys, let's keep it, let's keep it 100. I'm not even trying to be disrespectful, but... Who are these guys? You've known these guys for three weeks. Who who are they? Who are it's not like it's not that serious. I don't even. I'm sorry. I'm not even gonna drag it. It's not that serious. You're really dragging it. Anyways. So then Ronnie and Tiffany have a conversation, and she's like, "Something's missing." And um, yeah. And I was just like, "Okay, love that." She was like, "How do you feel?" And he was like, "I think it's just started. Like, I think we're going at a good pace. What you don't think? We're, I'm giving you not enough effect." enough kisses da -ra, da -ra. um and she was like it was it was in a very like you, our relationship is in a very jokey way and there's nothing serious there's no depth and stuff like that and i agree with her i literally i, I completely completely agree and i wasn't sure if she made it clear that they were just going to be friends because i was like i didn't hear her say that I didn't hear her say that, but then when Joey, when Ronnie and Joey have a conversation, he got, he definitely got the impression that she just wants to be friends with him. So I was like, I love, 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 love that. Big up Tiffany, ew, period, sis, period. Um, do I agree with Ronnie that it's really early to be saying that type of stuff? I actually do agree with Ronnie, but I don't care. <laughs> I do not care. <laughs> I don't care. Um, so it, it is what it is. And it was really, really giving. It was really, really giving. And then he was like, oh, wait, I'm running, honestly, the way he speaks sometimes actually makes me sick. He was like, what did he say? He said, I'll drop, he said, I'll drop her, he said, I'll drop her U turn on somebody's ting. Basically, mean he's going to circle back to where he's already done been. So I'm going to do a U turn on some someone's ting. Like, first of all, can we just stop using. Can we start saying thing instead of T-I-N-G? The ting word is really throwing me, guys. It's really throwing me, guys. It's it's not it's not giving what it's supposed to have gave. But it's definitely giving that his ego is bruised. It is very much so hurt. And his prize dumped him. Remember, Tiffany was the prize, Ian. Your prize has now dumped you. And Ronnie needs to go where? In the vein. <laughs> we love to see you guys, because honestly, Tiffany was his karma. You're walking around like you're the you're the like you're the sexiest thing that's done walk this planet. You're not, <laughs> you're not. Yeah. So there is a world where some girls mm, they're not feeling you. I think he's had really really great success rate. Right? Thankfully Tiffany humbled him, baby. Okay, humbled him. We love to see it. So then Nicole and Jess are speaking and she's like, oh, am I overreacting? Jess sometimes be giving really, really bad advice because she was overreacting. It is not that big of a deal. It was a joke. It was a bad joke, I would agree, but it was a joke. 
Now, I think she's starting to bring up multiple things about him being childish but that's what happens when you date a 21 year old you're gonna get some childish stuff out of him realistically speaking this man could have just came out of uni if you think back to how you was in uni would you date you would you think you're the pinnacle of maturity absolutely not so nicole some of it you're gonna have to charge you i'm sorry like it's 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 too much it's actually too much and it's getting under my nerves so that's that Jeremy and Grace are having a conversation and Grace is implying that Omar has been making flirty comments towards her and I was getting confused though like, where the footage at where the receipts at and then when Jeremy said what did he say specifically she said I can't remember and I can't I don't want to tell you I don't want to say something and it not be, like be all the way true I can't remember and I'm thinking how are you going to come and tell somebody a story and then have no receipts, no factual things? You're just coming to conclusions because her saying that he's being flirty, those are all conclusions. What did the man say? And Grace needs to go, where? In the bin. Because Grace instigated this foolishness without coming with receipts. Now, Joey's getting all riled up. He got a battery in his back and he's trying to pump up. I don't know. Guys, you already know. And for me, I really feel like Joey's really big mad is because Grace keeps on mentioning if not for Joey being in the house, Omar would have been her type and the one that she would have went to go pursue. Now, if you've got an issue with that, talk to Grace about that. But that's not Omar's issue, baby. That is not Omar's issue, baby. The man's fine. Let him be fine and let us go about our business, okay? Okay. So then Joey goes to confront Omar. He finds himself trying to confront Omar, literally entering up in his space and trying to be on crud yeah try, he's, try, he's trying to for me i feel like he was trying to intimidate him because why would you ever come and step to me like that you're, you need to back up you actually need to back up you actually need to back up because you're doing too much and if you think you're going to intimidate me <laughs> play yourself play yourself and now croydon can come out okay guys now this is the time and place for croydon to pop off yeah this is this is the this is the venue guys omar activate you because what it can never be so. It could actually never be so. And he was like, oh, you're no competition to me. You're no competition to me. Come again. Who's trying to take your gal? Who's trying to take your girl? For you to come up and you're just being accusatory. You're not even asking any questions. you just saying, this is what happened. Now, what's good? Oh, Omar going to show you what's good. Okay, he going to show you what's good. He was like, then he, Joey backed up a little bit. And then Omar stepped to him and said, don't step to me like that. Now, what you want to do? Now, what you want to do? Now, what do you want to do? That is indeed the question. He was like, now, he, he said something like what? He said, man, man's here trying to draw me out. And that's what it was. Man was here trying to draw him out. Now, I'm sorry, Croydon can come out all the way because that's what I was saying when I was speaking. Now, I'm not from Croydon, but I'm from London. I know what, <laughs> you know what I mean? The lingo is the same. So, why was you going to try to draw my now? <laughs> come again? And definitely, don't get me wrong, I've got my little corporate side guy. Like, oh, I'm a corporate baddie, and I've been a corporate baddie in the city for years. Um, you know what I mean? Born and raised in the city of London, period. But no, there's going to be certain times where I have to draw the line. And this is the time where the line has to be drawn because it can never be so. You're not actually going to try and bag me up in front of people. You're not going to try, you're not going to try and bag me up in general. But definitely not on, in front of people, and definitely not on national TV because. You, or you think because you've got ID followers or you think because you've got a bus car, you can step to Omar. Joey, behave yourself. I think I know you think you're famous and whatever, whatever, cool, 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 cool. But this is the real world. We don't care that you're Joey. We don't care, <laughs> respectfully, because you can get top the way the same way. So let's calm down. Let's, 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 let's bring it on down. And thankfully, Omar clocked it. He stood up for himself. He did exactly what he was supposed to do. And he was like, you're getting excited. Don't show off. Because that's what it is. You want to try to do your big one to Grace to be like, what? You, you want to do what? Like, what was the purpose of this conversation? What was the purpose of you stepping to him like that? Where did you think this was going to go? You were going to intimidate him. And he was, what, going to say sorry? You played yourself, Joey. And Joey needs to go, where? In the bean. Because you played yourself. You really, really played yourself thinking you were finna do something. And again, Omar was clocking it. Called him a weirdo and called him insecure. Because that was all it was giving. It was never giving man a bad man. It was never giving, oh, scary. It was, none of those things were giving. So I don't know what Joey was trying to do. Whatever his attempt was, he failed at execution. Absolutely failed at the execution because Omar's not the one or the two. Let it be known now and forever he's not the one, period. Now, and I know I was, now again, I know I was saying, what's he doing that with Sean? Sean didn't need that energy. 
but Joey needs it because Joey started with that energy and <laughs> I remember matched him, okay? I remember matched him and it was given definitely authentic, yeah? Because that's what he needed. Mind you, allegedly, there was an incident that happened on Thursday where Joey and Omar got into it with about the same incident. So I don't know if this argument was a replay. Maybe the, the cameras didn't catch it. I don't know. But allegedly, they had to be split up. They never got to blows. They had to be split up. And then one of them slept in another room just to, like, cool down the tension. So I don't really know what's going on and what's brewing. But, Joey, you will never bad up Omar. I don't know why you would think you would even... Don't even pretend like you're going to do something. Because if he swings first, it's not going to be good for you. That's all I'm saying. Let's just keep it all the way in one, one hand on. Let's keep it funky. Let's just keep it a buck. It's never giving up. So let's just bring it on down. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. I wonder if they did catch it on air, but because it got too, like, it got too hot, they didn't air it. Me, personally, am I surprised they didn't air th something like that? Of course not. It would be nice to see it because I want to see what worked up to it. And then I want to see, oh, my handle it where it needs to be handled. What? You need to come in, you need to, you need to bring it on down. You need to bring it on down. So then Harry is in the bed with Sean and Sean's giving her dumbass advice, talking about, oh, I'm going to wear my pink bikini tomorrow, or my pink swim costume tomorrow to try and impress Ronnie since he's now single. I, guys, I'm not going to, I don't even think I support anyone in this villa no more. I'm not even joking. Like, how can I be, well, we, we, we in, we're about to go into our fourth week tomorrow, yeah? We're about to go into our fourth week tomorrow. And I barely support anybody in this villa. There's nobody I strongly support in this villa. Because everybody's trash. Respectfully. Disrespectfully. I don't care. There's nobody I'm really... Hang like, there's no one I'm really gung ho. Maybe that will change. But as of right now, why have I not got a fave? Like, if there's a vote, I almost feel like, let me just sit this one out. Like, I don't get me I can probably vote still. But I if I sat it out, I'll be okay with that. Because what is going on in this show? Like, Harriet is... Just, like, Harriet, imagine. You, you, don't, you don't know shame. You don't have to stand up. You don't know. I don't think I've seen this degree of embarrassment for, from women. I, mean, I, don't even, I don't think I've actually seen this. Like, this is on a new level of embarrassment. This man had Jess, yeah? Then kind of had you-ish. Then had Tiff, pick Tiffany, chose Tiffany, said, I want Tiffany to your face, bro. I'll pick Tiffany. He said to your face and he laughed at you. And then now that Tiffany said, oh, I'm good on you, Ronnie. Now you want to worm me. I'm, Guys, shame has to be free. It has to. Be. I'm gonna put Harry in the bin. Guys, wait, wait, because we're gonna, we're actually gonna get there. Let's just wait. Okay. And then Kieran has to sleep outside because Nicole still. Guys, that, that this is just stupid. I'm, this, I'm, I'm gonna move on. So Joey and Sean are talking in the morning, and it almost seems like Joey's blaming Grace in terms of, oh, Grace told me this, and she felt like this, so I basically had to what defend her honor. Okay. So he keeps on. He makes it seem like he's. Now, this is not the first time he blamed someone else for his behavior. Like, oh, um, Grace and I have to sleep in a hideaway because she doesn't want to sleep on a single bed. It's given that type of energy, whereas even still, it's more so, Joby, you're insecure and you're mad because Grace fancies Omar. That's why you're mad. That's why you're mad. And he was saying that they're really good friends. If you, they were really good friends, then you speak to him as if you're really good friends, instead of pulling up on him like you want to do something because what type of energy do you think you're going to be matched back? You're not talking to Sean. You're not talking to one of these chicken heads. You're talking to Omar. No, 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 who you're talking to. So then Ronnie was telling Omar, not Ronnie was telling Ayo and Kieran that he was dumped. And then he said, Turbo is back. I don't recall hearing this name Turbo before. I guess that's his um, F boy alter ego. He could just go by Ronnie. I don't know why he's coming up with Turbo because Ronnie, Turbo is the same person. So then Harriet and Matilda are speaking and Harriet is saying that Jess has been frosty with her. Now, again, my sisters disagree with me, but I'm, 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 I feel like I don't know if I can believe Harriet because when it comes to Ronnie, common sense goes out the window. So I'm not actually too sure I believed I believe Harriet in, the, in this specific moment, I'm isolating this specific situation and it would be great to hear know what you guys also think. But Harriet is saying that she feels like Jess has been frosty towards her. And what I think is more so that Harriet knows she's about to go do some F shit. I need to stop swearing. Uh, Jess, I mean, Harriet knows she's about to go do something silly, something embarrassing. Because remember, the reason why Harriet and Jess can even be cordial right now is because the enemy of my enemy is what? my friend so now that she's going to definitely go pursue 
Jess, maybe she feels there's some frostiness towards Jess, but maybe it's more so an internalized thought. Now, is Jess gonna act a fool? Of course she is, but I'm saying in this moment, while nothing has happened yet, because mind you guys, Harriet and, uh, what can you keep on? Ronnie haven't spoken yet. So it would be weird if Jess was already frosty when nothing has happened yet. They haven't spoken yet. So she would just be upset or being aggy for no reason. Now, has she also been, she's already been aggy for no reason, we know, but she has a reason, even though we don't think it's a good one. If she was aggy right now, I just don't see what would be the reason, unless she's already predicted that Harriet is going to do that. If she did, then fine, maybe Harriet is telling the truth. But for me, I just have a sense of, Harriet knows she's about to do something messy, and then she's more so feeling a type of way and thinking that is Jess, but maybe it's more so her, because she knows she's gonna do something wrong. Anyways, Matilda encourages Harriet to go and get with Ronnie, so we already know there's no really real, real good girl friendships in this villa, because why would you give such rubbish advice? But then again, does Harriet really need advice to do dumb-ish? No. Irma and Joey have a conversation, and Irma was saying that my friendliness may have been misconstrued into flirtiness, which is good, uh, which is a fact, but also he was like, just to, you, you said that I did this, but you have not been able to give me clarity. So that's why I'm going to get more upset because imagine being accused of something. And then when you're trying to understand it more, there's no more understanding. So then what do you want me to do with this? If you can't tell me what I've done wrong, what do you want me to do to, with this? How can you want, how do you want me to admit something you can't even tell me or present to me? It doesn't make sense. So what did you want from me in the first place? It doesn't make any sense. So I agree um, with Omar. And he did say that you were basically trying to embarrass me by saying that I'm not your competition. He was like, I don't even like Grace like that. Like she's a pretty girl and everything, but it's, it's not adapting. And he definitely apologizes. Um, not me saying I don't want people to say ting and I just said ting. But you, you don't say it's not a that thing. You say it's not a that thing. Guys, let me move. That's why I need to stop talking and saying what people should and shouldn't do because I'm going to do the same thing. I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just hope Joey also apologised because an apology was needed. Please do not ever talk to me like that again in your life. I said please. Please don't. So that was that. They, it was squashed. Everything was fine. Then Maya Jama comes in the villa looking beautiful as ever and she brings the results of who we voted for our favourite couples and then she said that a dumping was pending. One boy and one girl will be getting dumped. So the saved couples were Mimi and Aya, Nicole and Kieran and Harriet and Sean. Now the Harriet and Sean was quite funny because of course they're a friendship couple but Harriet, people like Harriet a lot now and, and you know my Sean... I guess people like him, maybe they sympathise with him. So that was quite funny. So the couples at risk were Uma and Will, Joey and Grace, Omar and Jess, and Ronnie and Tiffany. And then the Saved Islanders had to pick the boy and the girl that will be dumped collectively. So Harriet was saying that she doesn't want Ronnie to be dumped. And I was like, Harriet, are, are we actually back here again? And Harriet needs to go, where? in the bin because I'm confused why you wouldn't want to get get rid of him I don't understand why you already have I guess maybe it's because she sees Sean getting with Matilda but I don't understand why you still actually want imagine being a begging bee like there's a lot of bees I can be but it will never be a begging one do you see what I'm saying guys like why are we begging 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 imagine you trying to save someone that could not care about you even less how embarrassing is that? How not shameful? Where is the self-respect, the self, the self-worth? It's, it's nowhere, guys. It's actually nowhere. The villa is gagging for self-respect and, and, and self-worth. It's gagging for him. Thankfully, Mimi and Ayo were trying to defend Omar and saying that he should basically not be dumped. And then here comes Sean with his embarrassments. That's something I don't really like no more for her because, oh, I sympathize with Sean. I don't care about Sean no more. And guys, I'm not even like, I actually bought this man sweets and it will be coming on Tuesday. And I'll show you guys when I get it. But the way he was behaving, don't get me wrong, I want the sweets regardless. But the way he was behaving, like, I almost wanted a refund because what? He said he wanted Omar to be dumped so his competition can be, like, get, can, can, like, be jumped and so he doesn't have any more competition. Now, if this was, like, the challenge or another gamified show was that was about a game, I would be like, you know what, Sean's strategy makes sense, perfect, I get it, mm, smart guy. 
But the fact that you're doing this when it comes when it's about love, I say that term loosely, loosely, but love, I think is quite embarrassing because just because you get rid of Omar doesn't mean it's per se going to be you. Me personally, I don't want to win somebody's heart by default. It's the same thing, guys. And that's what I'm going to keep that same energy. When it came to Mimi, I was upset for her because she wasn't picked by Ayo. Uma dumped Ayo and then Ayo went to the default. And I'm not saying Mimi's a default because Mimi is never given default. But to Ayo, I mean, to, to Ayo, that's what she is, respectfully. Now, it's the same, same situation here. Why would Sean not want Matilda to pick him so he doesn't know he's a default? But for him, he wants to be picked by any means necessary. Imagine you want to be a pick me. I don't, it's not often I call men pick me's, but Sean, you're a pick me. You really want to get picked, it's embarrassing. Like, for me, I would prefer to know that the person actually likes me than it's someone by default and I'm the only option left over. I, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. And I'm so glad that, and honestly, Kieran was giving. I'm not gonna lie, Kieran was doing his big one in this episode. Kieran was doing his big one. So yeah, he got browning stars for me, you know? He was like, nah, I don't think we should let Omar go home for that kind of reason. Like, it's not giving, like, it's not morally right. And I agree. What kind of reason is that? You want him to go home so you lose your competition. Ronnie has had 50 million chances. He's disrespected three women in the villa at least. At least. Yeah. We're not even talking about Samantha. I think they did this. I feel like he disrespected for Samantha. Anyways, he's had 50 million chances. Omer hasn't had 50 million chances. So it's like, I don't even understand what all the debate is about. Me personally, who should have got dumped was Grace and Joey because y'all have found love in a hopeless place. Go home. But instead, they jumped, they dumped Tiffany and Omar. I thought it was quite crazy dumping people in their swimwear in the middle of the day. Well, okay. Um, it's a shame for Omar. Tiffany, I really don't care about. But Omar, it's a shame, especially what has happened today, what's happened in this episode. It just makes me feel like mm, 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 something ain't... I don't know. I feel negative about this. I feel negative that this is what we're going to remember. Again, me personally, I'm going to remember that he stood on big business. That's what I'm going to remember. But for the rest of it, I just don't really like how it was, how it ended. I'm not a fan. But to be fair, if we were, if I was going to be a betting woman, it would be those two. Just because now the storyline of uh Ronnie, Harriet and potentially Jess can now continue and then Sean has an opportunity to be with Omar. It's definitely given that both Harriet and Sean got rid of their competition and it is what it is. It's just, it's annoying. I didn't like that that was the choice that was made, but I guess it seemed like Harriet and Sean were really the two that were running the show. Um... I think the the, 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 the the couples really agreed on Tiffany, but the Omar one, I definitely think that was contentious based on the conversations that we saw. So Kieran is very annoyed with Sean and he was basically saying it's not like there's no morals here and he's very like annoyed by the situation. And I'm like, clock it, baby. <laughs> clock it. It was clock it, Kieran. Because he, and I'm glad he said it to the horse's, to the man's face. He said it straight to the man's face. I don't like the way that was played. He just feels a bit grammy, a bit dirty, a bit mm. I agree with Kieran 100% and I'm glad he said what he said. Imagine from the youngest guy, he knows he's, he's listening. He's knowing what he's, he's... It's just... I don't like you guys. I'm not feeling him. And then... He then... What's his face? Um, kidding, kidding, kidding. Sean was talking about how he keeps on being in situationships and keeps on being in triangles. What's that got to do with Omar? If people... If any woman hasn't chosen you for you yet... I don't understand what that's got to do with Omar. Like, it's embarrassing. He really said that he wants to take out his competition at the knee just to be picked. Oh, it's embarrassing, guys. It's too, too, too embarrassing. And the way he's saying it, like he's saying something, it's even more embarrassing. I'm, it's so embarrassing. Like, I would have come up with something else than to have said, let me get rid of my competition. I don't know. It's just icky to me. Harriet is saying to Matilda that she has unfinished business with Ronnie. Okay. Grace and Joey are having a conversation and I don't even understand what this conversation was really about. I, I really don't get it. They are both shocked that they're in the bottom and I don't you guys know we got, vote for our favourites. We don't care about who, who's compatible. We vote for our favourites and y'all not one of our favourites. Point blank period. And then Joey was trying to justify them being in the bottom because Grace was giving Omar a chance. What? That happened how long ago? Like day one maybe? Day two, maybe, if even that. So the fact that they were trying to 
make sense of it and think that if that didn't happen, they of course would have been one of the fan favourites. It, it was actually quite a scary conversation. And they both need to go where? In the bin. Because, <laughs> honestly, the ego is too much. It's, it's, it's far too much. Matilda and Sean have a conversation and he tells her why he had Omar dumped. And he was like, oh, that was my closest power here, but I had to get rid of him. I had to be ruthless. If that's okay with you, then it's okay with you. But I definitely think some people are going to turn on Sean because of that. I don't like that little nasty, you mean, throw, throw sand in your eyes type stuff. Again, if this was the challenge, watching like what Bananas did to Sarah, for example, if you guys know, you know, that is ruthless, but that's a game. And she has to charge it to the game. This one, I don't, I don't see it the same way. I don't. I know some of you guys might, but I just don't. Jess is saying now that the situation between her and Ronnie didn't actually end for real and they never had closure. And I guess she's still open to the idea of Ronnie. So now it seems like this triangle is going to be back even though we've had enough of it. And that's why Ronnie was never going home because he still has bobbleheads interested in him. That's why. That's why. Um, Ronnie went from, and what, what, and then also, um, so there's that. And then Ronnie pulls Harriet for a conversation. He apologizes. She says they have unfinished business and he's now saying it's just going to be me and you. And, blah, blah, blah. and I'm just thinking, Harriet, this man objectively made you his second best. And you're saying there's unfinished business. Harriet needs to go where? In the bin, because that's embarrassing. That's him. You're, you're fighting for your life for a man that doesn't want you. This is really, this is really, really sad. And what's crazy is that Ronnie went from having zero girls to two. And he didn't even have to do anything. He gave one little measly apology. One little measly, one mid apology. And now he got two girls. Honestly, to be Ronnie, oh, it's up. Oh, it's up. Because this man is living his best life. And that's why he won't be humbled because look at freaking fact, frack. Look at dumb and dumber. It's unfinished business. God forbid bad things. Huh, <sighs> guys, these these people are just so honestly. There, so many people are so unlikable, guys. It's actually it's, it's actually unreal how we're this far in, and so many people I don't like. <sighs> Scary. But in tomorrow night episode, she'll get a kiss like I give a f. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.